So this is the sagittal parietal suture here. And this is the hinging quality that it has. And then, if you look at the side, the suture, this is above the ear, oh, it's a slide here, it's just a long angled surface, which is engaged with this surface right here. So this is the back of the head. So of course it's the spine. This is where the ear is. And so around the ear, the temple is this Temporal parietal suture, which has this quality. And so, my thinking with this is that as the As load comes up the spine, actually like this, to the side, the first point at which the energy can really be transmitted out of the tensegrity structure of the spine is here. So these two bones interact like this. There's other indications of movement in the cranial bones, like between the sphenoid and the temporal bone. The size of this gap in here is really quite substantial. So again, that's where the spinal cord comes up. The sphenoid is to the front of it, and this is the temporal bone with the parietal bone up here, the sutures here, and then this moves really quite, there's a lot of activity in here, there's a lot of channels for nerves and veins, arteries, jugular foramen. So, this is really quite apparent that this thing doesn't fuse, it's really quite large. And this gap is really quite large all the way through here. So, that's that.